journalism is all about the story. And you go out and you uh, talk to people and you have to come back and put together exactly what happened out there. Um, the meeting people, the social aspect of it, and uh, getting people's stories out there and then also trying to make a difference. Um, whether it be, you know, doing an investigative story or just a feature story that makes a difference in someone's life and changes something. I think that's what really I wanted to do for journalism. It's just connecting with people. I think when you go out on a story, you have to um, just relate to people like you would in everyday life. You know, if you go into a story uh, thinking you're better or you know you're standoffish, you know, you just have to get people talking. That's why you want to ask a lot of questions um, before leading up to the ones kind of you want about the story. So you get people loosened up and connecting with you so they feel comfortable to share and uh, you know give you the information whether it's you know a hard tragic story that you have to cover or just you know a nice Easter egg hunt like we had today. <laughs> Most importantly and, and they say this going through journalism school but um, you want to ask the questions that will get you more of an answer that's not a yes and no question. You, you, you don't want to just have them say yes and no to you. So you, you want to phrase questions so that you can get emotion out of people um, and uh, you know, make sure you're not getting those yes and no questions. Also, um, you know, once again, connecting. I think, I think you have to you know, just talk with people and if it is an emotional story, just make sure that you are being considerate of, of that. I think that if people feel comfortable with you, then they'll share, you know. And then also, always go into your interviews prepared, you know. Make sure you've done the research and you know what questions you want to ask because that will get your interview subject more open to talking to you if they think that what they, their topic is matters to you, that you've done that research going into it. When choosing a school, um, I went to the University of Southern California, which is a great journalism school. Um, make sure that the program has a news studio if you're doing you know, television news because you want that hands-on experience. That's the only way you're going to get the training that you need. And then also internship is, is hugely important because I've learned most of my stuff just following reporters and, and I'd suggest doing that too. But um, when you're, you are researching your school, make sure that they have those technical aspects because that will put you above the other people and it is such a competitive business that you have to be able to shoot, you have to be able to edit, you have, on top of everything else, you have to have all that. Um, and the camera stuff, it, it's not, it, all, it can seem scary, the big picture, all this equipment and everything, but it isn't as, you know, it's not that hard. You can learn the camera, you can learn that. And, you know, I've seen my st beginning stuff to now and it's definitely improved. So it's just that, you know, putting, putting it every day to use. So I think you have to have passion for it. You really have to love it deep down because there are so many aspects of it that are not glamorous. This is in no way, uh, you know, we go on TV and a lot of people think that, you know, we just, uh, you know, are done up and, and just are talking heads. But if you, it's a lot of work. Obviously in this starter market, you have to shoot your own stuff and, and it's emotional job and uh, it doesn't pay a lot, which ex a lot of people think that this job pays quite a bit. So you have to really, really love it and it gives up a lot of your time and you have to make sacrifices. So my advice would be before you really go through all of the education and everything, you really have to sit down and, and say, is this what I want? Because once you get into it too and you get out ever, it's harder to get back in. It's one of those things you just have to go full forward with it and there are many times when I question you know <laughs> if it was right or not because it, it has the emotional aspect it, it has a lot of that but I think you just have to have that passion for journalism you know and, and that would be my advice just to really go into it for the right reasons you know don't go into it because it's television or because 
you know, you go into it because you want to make a difference and you want to tell someone's story and, and you want to put those, uh, the information out there. You know, it's hard sometimes when I go into a story and I'm dealing with officials or any corruption or anything like that or, you know, going to a murder scene you know, it, it does take a toll on you, but my advice would be to keep that passion if you have it too. And um, another big thing, um, just with, once you do, a very important thing is contacts. And I've noticed that over the two years. Um, I get so many of my great stories, my breaking news stories from the people I meet and the contacts that I've developed because it's really important that you keep those and you develop those relationships because I'll have police chiefs, sheriffs, deputies calling me, hey, this is going on, come out here. That's why we're there because we have those relationships. So it's really important that uh, you are people, you remain a people person and you keep those contacts because they need, police need the media too, you mm -hmm. know, they need, if they have a missing person or if they need a suspect, they'll call us immediately and put it on, but they want that relationship and I think, you know, I have a, a big book that has all my contacts in it and it's important that I keep keep in touch with them and, and call them and, and send them thank you cards if, if, you know, I have a great story with them because that's the relationship you want to keep and I think that that is where I get some of my best stories is from those contacts. Final Cut, I, I, I did iMovie, which is, if, if students are familiar with iMovie, it's very similar, so, which is a, a Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of kids these days, or students these days are, you know, using that. And it's not hard. A lot of people are scared of it because, like, I have some reporters here who ha wouldn't learn it because they were nervous because it's just, you look at it and it can look so overwhelming, but it is wonderful. It, I can... Uh, Put a, sh put a piece together in half the time of tape to tape these days because it's, and, and if I mess up, I can cut it. If I um, am going too long on my story, I can just snip things. You know, it is so useful. So I use it every day because uh, we put, uh, uh, You'll see on our five o'clock news, there's a short version of the six o'clock story um, that, you know, I, imp I import all the video, all the bites, and then I just, you know, grab the video and, and it, it is, it's very, I use it every day, yeah. yeah.